our series, Bush League Justice, is back. An investigation into how the Bush administration has politicized the Justice Department and often overstepped its constitutional boundaries. Tonight, with just 11 months left in office, the Bush administration trying to leave its conservative stamp on the legal system. The president now using 84 of his own nominees, including judges, as pawns in order to get one ultra-conservative lawyer confirmed to a high-level Department of Justice job. Stephen Bradbury, the author of The Secret Memos That Authorized Torturing Detainees, the man who decried that Harriet Myers did not have to testify about the fired U.S. attorney scandal, has been nominated to be Assistant Attorney General, in particular a job that is supposed to provide apolitical guidance on the legality of presidential actions. According to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Congress's refusal to confirm him has led the president to pull 84 of his nominees for positions in the exe executive judicial branches, including many judges, an order that came directly from the president's chief of staff. He said, it's Bradbury or nobody. I said, you mean you're willing to not allow 84 of your people get approved because of this guy? He said, yeah, that's the president wants. What's particularly offensive is the president's disingenuous comments today where he's blaming the Congress for stalling on his nominees. It's not right uh, to treat these good folks this way. These nominees deserve an up or down vote. Many of them have had their careers on hold. They've got spouses whose lives are stuck in limbo. They have children waiting to find out where they're going to go to school. These are real folks making real sacrifices, and they should not be treated like political pawns. This is so disingenuous. I mean, we are not going to let this stay under the radar. Here now, Jonathan Turley, professor of constitutional law at George Washington University Law School. All right. Uh, Jonathan, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. The, the, president, My pleasure. the president seems to be effectively shutting down areas of government in an effort to get one ultra-conservative lawyer into a Department of Justice post. That's why Washington was built on a swamp. <laughs> uh, this is the type of thing that goes on in the Beltway. And there's a reason for it. Uh, you know, he, I don't think he particularly cares about the post. He could be acting in that post. The president is trying to create a legacy, and he's been very successful in getting Democrats to help him with that legacy. Democrats have been working to really block meaningful investigations of torture, electronic surveillance that's unlawful. But selecting someone like or confirming someone like Bradbury is worth it to the president because he's trying to create a legacy that any problems that he may have done, any crimes he may have committed, the Senate itself was a participant to it. Well, and, and also, let, I mean, let's talk about, I mean, this, this seems to be, I mean, whether, whether you believe it's actually over Stephen Bradbury or not, that's one of the big issues here. This is a guy who authored two secret memos authorizing the CIA to use torture techniques. He advocated revoking habeas corpus for terrorism detainees. He authored the opinion immunizing Harriet Myers from testifying in the U.S. attorney's investigation. I mean, this is a guy who is, whether he may be a very bright guy, but he is an ultra, ultra conservative guy who is right. now being appointed to a position that is supposed to give non-political advice to the president over what's legal or not legal for the president to do. Right, and I, I wrote a column a while back talking about the made men of the Bush administration, that the way to get ahead in the Bush administration is to do some guy, uh, in this case, the, doing the Constitution. That is, if you, if you do something really outrageous, like endorsing torture and approving unlawful surveillance, you're a made guy, and they stick by you. I mean, I'm here to speak at the ABA uh, convention, and one of the things that we've been talking about in the hall are these sort of fallen angels, these lawyers, yeah. like Brad like Viet Din, like John Yu, like all of these people who abandoned their trainings as lawyers and really sold out. Now, some of these people believe it. Some of them are simply extremists. But those are the people that Bush brought around him in this very small inner circle. Well, let me play a little bit of sound. Here's, here's Bradbury, the guy we're talking about, being questioned by Senator Leahy. And he was saying this was going to tell him whether he could keep Guantanamo open or not after what he said, he said he could. Well, it's it, was the president right or was he wrong? It's under the law of war. And was the president we, right or was we he wrong? The president is always right. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if he was kidding there, but uh, that, that does seem to be the problem with appointing this guy 
to this position. Uh, Jonathan, real quickly, though, I, what I don't want to be overlooked is the fact that this president now has appointed 30 percent of the judiciary. Um, that's, his, right. that's his real stamp. Is And you hear John McCain saying he wants more Alitos and Roberts. This means that if you elect John McCain, you're going to get more of the same, whether you like it or not, when it comes to judges. Oh, I think that's I think that's very true, and that comes at a significant cost. Someone yeah. like Sam Alito is blindly pro-government. The only time he ever votes against the government tends to be when they mess with religion uh, or some very conservative cause. And that presents a real danger for the Constitution because that is the final court. It's the, that's why we call it supreme. And this president has a legacy there. It's a troubling one. Yeah. But Bradbury is symptomatic of the lawyers that are being crafted to take these positions. And people should understand it has a direct impact on their lives and it has an impact on the future of this country. We are going to stay on this. Bush League Justice is an ongoing series we are going to do on this, uh, on this program. We are not going to let this go unnoticed. Jonathan Turley, thanks very much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Good to see you. Coming up.